Look, it's Hound. Now transformation on this figure is actually relatively complicated, so I'm going to kind of go through this. This piece, um, you can put on here and transform it while it's on there, but I find it just falls off. So I put this on last, so I'm just gonna throw that over to the side here. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing that you wanna do is um, you wanna disconnect the shoulder pieces from the chest. So you're just gonna loosen them up and kind of move the arms out of the way a little bit. Um, this whole back piece is really annoying, so just FYI. Lift the fake wheels up, lift this piece up like this. All right, and then from this point, we're going to want to kind of pull the shoulder blades down. You got to kind of pop them upward and then down so they, they click out of place. So be aware of that. This whole back section is really annoying. Be very, very aware of that. The instructions are not very good. Um, so then at that point, we're gonna make sure that these fake wheels are upright. And then we wanna take this waist piece and lift that up. And that's gonna let you unpop the waist, the gray piece. So just make sure that's up. And then this is gonna be really, really difficult. So you're gonna feel like you're gonna break this, but it won't. So you're just going to kind of pop that up like that. So that whole piece is kind of loosey-goosey, just like that, so be aware of that. And then you're gonna flip this upward, like thus, and then, um, and now what we're going to do is kind of straighten the back out, get your arms down out of the way as best you can, so that we get it like this. And then we want to get these shoulder bits to come up over, and you're going to push these together. So make sure they're clamped together. So we're gonna lift these up and we're gonna connect those into place like this. So they should connect in like that with these arms folded forward, straighten these up a bit. Uh, now we can put the fake wheels down and then flatten them. I don't even know why these are there. And then um, now we can lift the head down so there's the head, make sure that's downward. And then um, up at the top of this thing, there's a little black piece that you're gonna fold over to cover his head hole. It's a little canopy there, like that. And then you're gonna fold the elbows as far in as they can go. So just straighten them up and fold them in as far in. And then you're going to push the truck cab forward. And that's the front half of the vehicle. So now we're gonna work on the back half. Um, we're gonna take these feet, fold the back heels inward, and then we're going to open up the backs of the legs and plop these kind of oil tank things, spin them around uh, so that the hollow ends face in towards the legs. So just kind of get them out the way. So we'll do that with the other side. We're going to open this one up this out and then we're going to spin it on the ball joint and kind of line it back up. We're going to close the hatch down. You can close the legs together there and then kind of move the feet up out of the way right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to straighten this up. Okay, now this is where it can get kind of complicated. You want to make sure that that waist hinge is completely loosey-goosey. So you wanna be able to do this with that waist hinge so you can fold that upward and then um, you can move the oil tanks straight. They're going to peg into place and then connect your legs back together. So if that waist is not loosey-goosey, you're not gonna be able to do this. So be aware of that. So we're gonna clamp everything in to where they need to go. So just plug in the port to where it needs to go. Make sure it's all tight and then Push that together and then you can make sure the legs are together like this. So that's what it should look like. And then we're gonna put in the weapons. So I'm going to just plug this in back here like that. And then we're gonna plug the mace in as well. 
make sure everything is connected right. So we're going to plug this into the port. And this is kind of goofy. If you don't have this exactly right, it's not going to clip on here. So be aware of that. And it's not wanting to go. And this thing is being stubborn. Plug's not right, so make sure that the legs are completely closed, otherwise that will not go on. So there we go, we got the two pieces. We're gonna fold this down and put the canopy on. So get the little little plug that goes onto the black piece like this. Lift it down, fold down your canopy, and plug these into place like this. Plug this one in like that and then lift your tailgate feet up, and there we have Bulkhead in his truck mode. So yeah, let's uh, zoom in, take a look at it really, really fast. So there we go. Here he is in his truck mode, and I mean, it looks like a military truck. I will give it that. It rolls pretty well. It's nice and bulky. Looks like a, a troop carrier or an equipment carrier. Um, I like the Autobot logo, love those windshields, oil tanks look good, it's got lots of good detail on it, very cool. And then the feet can actually work as a ramp to load things up into the back, I suppose, so that's kind of nice. Maybe even smaller uh, Legends Transformers can roll up in there, oh, and you can throw them around. And actually, once you click it together, it's a nice brick, I mean, you can see it does not come apart easy at all. And, it's just a nice, fun brick figure, but it is pretty complex to transform, so be aware of that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos, and follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.